Old people just love to hate the little yellow flower in this town. And you know what? There's a lot more of them to hate this year. Your eyes don't deceive you. There are more dandelions than there normally are. And the reason for that has to do with what your lawn looked like when the snow first melted. Take cast back in your mind. Remember what it looked like. Pretty patchy, pretty awful. So what happens in those vacant spots of your lawn where there's not thick green turf like you would like it to be? These guys. These guys grow. Not just above, but take a look at that root. Well, this year we had a long, cold winter, and the lawns were under a lot of stress. We probably went an extra month, and there was quite the snow load this year. And um, because of that, and a very slow warm-up in the spring, the lawns didn't really get a chance to set and uh, for their roots to start to regrow and thicken and to uh, close off the gaps in the uh, grass canopy. And for that reason, a lot of uh, seeds were able to germinate and, and the weeds went crazy. People like Blasky have sprays you can use and they can use on your lawn for you, which are still legal in this province. Or you can also go the route like my folks do and just pull them out. The problem is, like I said, look at the root on that. It's, it's huge. And this one, which has been pulled out, is broken off on the end. Now what can actually happen if you leave this root in the ground, part of it broken in the ground, you can end up with two dandelions rather than just the one you had in the first place. So maybe that's not the best thing to do. The other thing you can do, which is what I do, is just set your lawnmower as low as possible and mow the buggers down. Because they don't last very long. In fact, once the weather turns to about 30, you're going to start to see these things going from yellow to fluffy. A lot of people have had difficulty with dandelions and have just given up uh, trying. And because of that, there's a lot more seeds blowing around the neighborhoods. But uh, this is probably a, a bit of a sign of things to come. In Ottawa, Doug Hempstead for Sun News.